kitchen. So today we're gonna make some refried beans in the Instapot. I call them creamy, dreamy refried beans. They're so delicious. Um, if you know anyone who's vegan, they will love this dish. It's completely vegan, but it's so creamy. I always thought that you had to put lard in that to make it so creamy and delicious. This does not have any lard. So you'll be so surprised at how healthy this dish is. And you can make it in your Instapot in just a relatively short amount of time. So come along with me and let's get cooking. The first and main ingredient in the dish is pinto beans, and this is a pound bag. Some of the other ingredients you need are shown here. You'll need some olive oil, probably about two tablespoons. You'll need a brown onion. You need some bouillon. In this case, I'm using Better Than Bouillon roasted garlic base. Some liquid smoke, about a half a teaspoon. Some oregano, dried oregano. I use about a teaspoon. Some salt and pepper to taste. And here you can either use a fresh jalapeno or I'm gonna use some canned hot jalapenos. Smoked paprika some ground cumin, and onion powder. You can either soak your pinto beans overnight or I'm gonna do the quick soak where you put it in a pot of boiling water, wait for it to come back to a boil, give it a stir, once it's boiling, we're gonna set the timer for two minutes. And after the two minutes are over, we're gonna turn off the heat, remove it from the heat and cover the pan. Now we're gonna let these soak for one hour. This is called a quick soak. While we're quick soaking our beans, we'll go ahead and get some other ingredients ready. We're gonna start with preparing our brown onion. We're gonna slice off the ends, peel off the skin, and begin to dice it finely. take my jalapenos and add in one heaping tablespoon of jalapenos to my onions. I'm pushing my saute button on my Instapot. I'm gonna let it warm up. Once it says hot, I'm gonna go ahead and start sauteing my onions and jalapenos until translucent and a little bit brown. While my onions are sauteing, I'm gonna go ahead and drain and strain my pinto beans. They've been soaking in the hot water for over about an hour. Now we're gonna check back in our onions and you can see they're starting to turn golden brown. And now it's time to add in our chopped garlic. And just heat that thoroughly for a minute or so. Now we're gonna add in our spices. Smoked paprika, granulated onion, some oregano, and some cumin. Stir it all together over the saute heat on the Instapot, and you wanna combine all the seasonings with the onions and the jalapenos. So just keep cooking it for a minute or so, getting it thoroughly coated. As you can see, it's all turning that reddish color of the paprika. Now it's time to add in our three cups of water. And give it a good stir. Now we're gonna add our pinto beans that have been soaking for about an hour and give them a good stir in the Instapot. We're gonna add in a half a teaspoon of liquid smoke. Now we're gonna add in our Better Than Bouillon seasoning. If you have any other type of bouillon, you're welcome to use this. And we put in about a teaspoon. Now it's time to put the lid on our Instapot, 
close it shut and put the vent to sealing. We're gonna hit cancel to turn off the saute function. Hit the manual pressure cooker button and set our cooking time for 50 minutes. And wait a few seconds, about five seconds. It'll turn on. And then we just let the Instapot do its magic. Now that the Instapot has finished, we're gonna do a quick release. And wait for all the pressure to come out so we can open the lid. Okay, the pin has gone down, which means it's time to open the lid and let's take a look. And as you can see, the beans have cooked up nicely and absorbed a lot of the liquid. Let's give it a good stir. They look very well cooked. Now comes the fun part. You get to take your potato masher and mash the pinto beans into the sauce to get the right creaminess that you desire, the right thickness. I like mine very creamy, so I'm gonna try to mush down a lot of my beans as much as possible. After you've gotten the beans to the consistency you're looking for, go ahead and keep simmering your Instapot. This is on saute mode. I'm using it on low temperature saute mode to get the perfect desired consistency of the beans. As you can see, they look very creamy and rich, but you can still see some pinto beans in the actual sauce. This is where you adjust the seasonings. I wanted some more jalapenos in there. I didn't feel it was hot enough for me. So we're gonna go ahead and put in a little bit of salt, some cracked black pepper, and give it a good stir, looking at the consistency. And the final item I'm gonna add to my pinto beans is I'm gonna take my jalapeno slices and take some of the brine in there and put in a tablespoon or so of brine into the actual beans. And there you have it, creamy, dreamy pinto beans. I hope you enjoyed my recipe. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you have any comments, please put a comment down below. Let me know how you like this recipe. And please subscribe and I'll see you on my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.